So the next stage of that was, this is where they wanted to go. And this is very much about... Um, yeah, this is very much about looking through the domain of change uh, and addressing and finding the things that they want to, to deliver straight away. So the next stage was, was right, how can we do this? What's the biggest and quickest way we can do this? Um, what came along as we were discussing this with them was reserved instances and zero high reduced rights. What that allowed us to do straight away was, uh, some describe it as a lift and shift, we say move and improve. Because what it is, is about moving them into, in this particular instance, it was Azure, it could be the AWS, it could be GCP, but the point is getting into it and changing things quickly. We, we achieved that with Traffic Manager, we could do it, what is it, Route 53 with AWS, you could do it with F5 appliances as well. We then very quickly took their application into Azure and started levering the functions within Azure. And what this gave them was the ability to keep and justify their investment and legacy investment, or heritage investment, I should say, in the bottom left-hand corner of their data centers. So they can really sweat that asset and they can show to the company, because as Lisa said, it's about buying for the whole company. The finance director isn't gonna suddenly change his mindset from CapEx to OpEx and embrace the cloud. Uh, and it's about getting that functionality in place and demonstrating it. So like I said, one of the big things was that element of reserved instances, the high producers rights, allowed us to very quickly move them into the cloud. One of the other elements that we were able to bring along was um, something we call uh, ColoFlex. And the reason why I bring up ColoFlex is about demonstrating that if you find a partner that can work with you, because these guys effectively were in co-location, and they had a private cloud, if you wanted to call it that, it was just a, two virtualized environments. And what they wanted to have the ability to do was use that investment. And that's what, for us, ColoFlex is. And I'm sure that our competitors and other people have a very similar thing. It's about looking at the commercials around what you have at the moment and how you can change them. Like I said, RIs, AHBs, very, very important. Um, and the first thing we did was bring along web apps. So their standard N plus one architecture, web front end, database, let's drop that, those web front ends straight into web apps. Now they don't have to worry about the resources. Now they can scale. They can start looking at the scale. If you go away and speak to Microsoft infrastructure guys or AWS infrastructure guys, and you ask some detailed questions about, I've got this application, it's this workload, how should I scale it? You're gonna get a black face because it's new and nobody's really tested it. So the point is, if you can get there quickly, and you can, they've got traffic managers, so you know, they can go and do those tests. They can do some A-B testing. They can see what that load looks like. They could even start evolving that um, geographically around the world in different regions. So that was the first instance. We then looked at their um, business application. How can we improve that? What can we put into it? And immediately, they're able to use logic apps and functions because they're there and built and they're just ready to be used within their application. So straight away, we're looking, taking that application and we're turning it into where they want to go. We haven't had to build that infrastructure. We can just use it as and how we want. So the dev guys, you can switch it on. There you go. Start using it. Try and get to where you want to go. This is your functions. So from Pulsing's perspective, we're an infrastructure provider. What we want to be able to do is deliver that infrastructure for somebody to then change their application. How are we doing for time? Okay.